Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So now we're in some interesting times here. Um, this video I don't necessarily make lightly, but it's uh, some important news is happening that I think people just need to be aware of. Now, on this channel, we've spoken about Risk Five as an architecture many, many times. Some of my clients are very active members of the Risk Five International Consortium, the Alliance building risk five cores as a replacement to some of the other offerings in the market and it's been gaining some traction we've recently had companies like qualcomm announce that they're building their own risk five cores for things like uh, wear os uh, in wearables and all the way up to the high performance cores that i've showcased on this channel by companies like tense torrent now one of the companies that are invested he in heavily in risk five is a company called sci Five. Now, if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you may have seen that sci Five has even bought ads on this channel. Um, their whole business has been, they have hired the people who essentially built the Risk Five architecture. And if you want Risk Five cores, if you want to license some Risk Five cores from uh, anyone, it should be them because they have a wide portfolio of microcontrollers, of performance, scalar or vector cores. And this has been taken up by a number of companies in the market and that's their whole business model. Um, they're a startup to the tune of you know several hundred million dollars. Um, and this is what's, what makes this um, an interesting piece of news that I think everybody should know. Now, I should point out that this news comes to me from um, initially from one of my sources in the industry who said you should have a look at this. I've since had parts of it double, triple, quadruple confirmed. Um, other parts I necessarily haven't. And I even reached out to Sci-Fi's PR team uh, and the PR agency directly in order to get a statement from it. And the news essentially goes like this. Given that we know that Sci-Fi has been this sort of herald for Risk Five in the industry, it turns out that Sci Five has actually laid off a large proportion of its staff. We're talking engineers, we're talking physical designers, um, all the way up to management, essentially, with most of management being fired. If I look at um, exact wording, just so I can uh, go. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're talking about physical design engineers, product team, sales and all senior management um, except the founders, um, which is an interesting statement, to say the least. And on top of that, also this change in product portfolio. Uh, as I said, Sci-5 do cores that you can go and license. There's P and the X series and some others. They even announced a new P and X cores, performance and vector cores, literally last week. Um, but now it seems that that portfolio is no longer part of Sci-Fi's offering. It turns out Sci-Fi is going to focus on custom cores. This means other companies, if they want a Risk Five design, they go to Sci-Fi with a list of requests, and the requests essentially, you know, they build a core around the customer, and they go prove it out in silicon and, and sell it to them. Whether this is just simply a core and they're providing the IP, or they're actually going, you know, full SOC design house is unclear right now. Um, but yeah, the, the, the firing is, is, is a big part and that I've definitely confirmed from multiple sources. Um, this pivot to the custom cores, I've not had the same level of confirmation. Um, but I'll read out the, the, the comment I actually got from risk five, just, you know, and I'll show it up on screen word for word, just so people know what we're talking about. So from a sci five representative spokesman, there's no specific person being attributed to this. Um, as we adjust to the rapidly changing semiconductor end markets, Sci-5 is realigning across all our teams and geographies to better take advantage of the opportunities ahead, reduce our operational complexities, and increase our ability to respond quickly to customer product requirements. Unfortunately, as a result, some positions were eliminated last week. The employees are being offered severance and outplacement assistance. Sci Five continues to be excited about momentum and long term outlook for our business and Risk Five. Now that's the statement in full. Um, I have you know asked for follow up about what it means for their product portfolio, uh, these sort of custom cores versus off the shelf um, designed Risk Five cores. They haven't said anything about that. 
they have confirmed that there are layoffs and the the statement kinds of kinds of high kind of hides exactly the level of the layoffs um though the fact that they've even confirmed the layoffs i mean they'd have to eventually but they've confirmed the layoffs to me um and it does it does sound based on what they said again i'll 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 still leave up this uh, on the screen so people can read and digest it sounds pretty substantial enough that severance you know and outplacement assistance is being provided um you know the the saying that uh realigning across teams and geographies to better take advantage of the opportunities ahead that could just be downsizing to focus on the markets that are already involved reduce operational complexities essentially you know prune the product um portfolio and increase our ability to increase our ability to respond quickly to customer product requirements customer product requirements being custom cores and being able to respond quickly just means smaller agile teams now, given that Sci Five again is this startup with hundreds of millions of dollars of funding, I'll put on the screen the exact number um, just so we're all clear. This is kind of a little bit of a kick in the teeth, um, just for Risk Five as a Sci Five for ages has been the torchbearer, the one, the company that's been heralded as if you if you're really interested in Risk Five um, and you want to see an example of a company doing well, go see Sci Five. Um, with this, what's happening, and we'll obviously wait for a, a, a bigger official announcement, I guess, um, that may, may not be the case anymore. Um, we're seeing other companies come up saying, you know, we're using Risk V um, in a lot of different ways, especially internally in the microcontrollers, um, or now into more sort of SOC style with what Qualcomm's doing, or the high performance and AI style that Tens Torrent is doing. And then we all know things about uh, Western Digital putting it into their storage controllers, and a lot of companies are just replacing some of those smaller size cores um, with Risk Five. Whether they were Sci Five licensed cores or their own built, it's unsure. But it does feel like that there may be now um, some extra engineers on the market if somebody seems to be hiring. Um, and they said, you know, geographies. So they're obviously pulling out of. Sounds like they're pulling out of some markets. There. Sci Five, I believe, is an American company, so refocusing on you know American customers may be a thing, or they've got a specific set of customers in Asia that they'd rather focus on. Um, interesting to hear how much of this is true. Um, get, you know, given what Sci Five have said through their through their, their spokespeople and through their agency, um, it sounds like a good chunk of it is probably true. Uh, and yeah, we'll just have to find out. But um, so the question for all of you guys is, uh, what have you been thinking about Risk Five to date? And does this news really change anything in your mind? Maybe you're even today working with Risk Five cores, or you're building something around Risk Five. Let me know in the comments how your opinions have changed. <laughs>